but Kingdom Hearts 3 and the whole franchise on PC now. I want to see where the whole future will bring us on the on all the series for mods in the future. When moveset changes anything. And so here I made a list for my top 14 wants for mods, whether they're ridiculous or actually make sense for the future. This will be around my favorite ideas to my least favorite. And number one, I want to be a remake of 358 with the resources from 3 and whatever else you can fit in. Yes, I know it'll be troublesome and tedious, and I don't expect it within the first year, let alone two years. But I would love to see this come to life in some shape or form, whether it be the Kingdom Hearts 2 models or anything. Just, I want it to happen with the resources we get from 1 and 2, and I would love to see it grow with new area with some short areas and whatnot and for number two I would like to see new boss placements for characters make the organization more involved in their levels in the Disney worlds that they're in add a boss fight for Marluxia, Larxene, Vanitas you know anyone anyone sees fit even along with their chosen enemies and nobody henchmen that they have to help out. It doesn't have to be a data moose. It could be even weaker moose than the graveyard. It doesn't have to be a conclusive fight. I would just like to see them be a bit more involved. Maybe make some new cutscenes for them. Make new variations of the graveyard fights. Make them a whole, you know, a bit more of a funner, crazy experience. And I would love to see the Guardians be data fights if anyone ever manages to work that out properly. I would love to see the classic team-ups happen. It would be great to see Sora, Riku, and Kairi as a triple boss thing you have to fight through or something like that. For number three, I would love to see improved playstyles for Riku, Aqua, and Roxas. Riku has felt kind of clunky and disappointing to me in Kingdom Hearts 3. I once did a combo string where I couldn't even cancel a lot of it, even with his reflect. And I feel like this is this wasn't for Riku when he's had the same training as Sora, I'm not expecting a whole full play style form from Square, but I'm hoping the mods can change that up because I feel like Riku just didn't get enough. He should have flow motion, a callback to some of his dream eater attacks, not all of them, but mostly as finishers or situation commands or something. You can take some inspiration from Sora's dark form finishers where it looks like he does dark break and even just some moves that Riku looks like he should be able to do on the fly. Even take some inspiration from Rage form in terms of darkness. It was just seems Riku just didn't get... Honestly, Riku doesn't feel like he's just... Especially with that large keyblade offsetting him a bit. It doesn't feel like he has his usual fighting style. Compare him to Kingdom Hearts 2 and even some of his parts in 3D. It just doesn't feel like Riku is up to his full power in this game even when Sora's the one who's supposed to be weakened you know for Aqua Aqua has been tiring to play for me for a long time now still love her hope Aqua still love her still want her to be in the series I just want her play style to actually be truthful to her skills I think I would love to see Ghost Drive like her boss battle has been boring to me I'm disappointed it's the same Mira Aqua fight to a degree I wish she would get like her command styles as finishers, if nothing else. Give her Sora and Donald's team attack as a ice ending or something. Like I feel like she should have Ghost Drive. One of my favorites, Ghost, as her finishers, or just some of her finishers based off her old command styles. It just Aqua just needs some changes. I want her to have a more fluid kind of feeling not just stilted one two three movement and the same air combo that's kind of discounted Sora where she just spins into you I've never really liked that too much it just doesn't really fit her and what her fighting style dancing kind of is put in barrier surge for a retaliation attack too I would love to see that Roxas I think Roxas just is kind of like a weaker version of his usual boss battle and I think that's disappointing. I think Roxas should have a bit more to him calling back to his bond with Sora and just his own unique flair to it. In the Guardian fight he even has a little air attack I feel should have been 
could have been a, an air combo for him as short as it was. It could be air combo for him. He even has Event Horizon as part of like a whole reaction command. Miracle Hour, I think it was called. And I feel like that should have been like part of a finisher or maybe he even his focus gauge attack. He could have used the boss version of Event Horizon where he just shoots the balls of light at someone. And, and just focus on them. I love his new homing attack. I just, I'm, I really want his combos to change up a bit in terms of finishers or in their middle or add a bit more to them. I just don't like seeing the same combo for air and ground for any character. Inspire some move sets from his light form and Sora's final form since that was basically him and Sora finally being completed. Add in final strike and final arts from final form as part of his move set or something like that. It doesn't have to just be frame for frame or animation for animation, but I would love to see Roxas change up a bit. And I don't like, I hope someone can change him staggering when he gets hit. I don't like the fact that he doesn't fully stagger and instead just tanks hits. As cool and tough as some people might think that is, it really offsets the gameplay style of the usual Kingdom Hearts style and it hurts your combo flow, especially when you have a boss battle like Psyx, who just kind of ignores everything you do to him and fo makes you focus on a certain play style, like block attack, block attack, block attack. It just isn't that fun. Even if it was just Zimnus, maybe I wouldn't be as hard on it, but it's both of them and it's not easy to do. It's easy, but it's not at the same time, if you get what I mean. All together, I would love for them all to have their retaliation combos. I w it just doesn't seem right that Sora is the only one with those and everybody's just stuck with aerial recovery. I would love for different blocks for each of the characters, depending on how long you hold the button, maybe, instead of just having Reflect, because Reflect just feels like a full stop, and honestly, it hurts you. It hurts me sometimes more than helps with my timing, especially when you got to do those team battles in the Keyblade Graveyard. So that's all I would have for them. For the next part, I would like to have new bosses and placements for uh, any game, for all, any Kingdom Hearts game, mostly for three, and just see the Guardians as a data battle. I would love to see the Kingdom Hearts Destiny trio or any of the trios be like boss battles. Heck, put Mickey down on a Goofy as a boss battle for once. See those Disney trio, see that classic trio work together for once. And, you know, give them some tough, tough playstyles and whatnot. I would love to see more involvement from the organization in the Disney world as mini boss battles with their chosen henchmen enemies. Vanitas with Unversed, Larxene with her ninja nobodies, and Marluxia with his scythe nobodies. Just as a small fight. They don't have to be a big fight. It's just, I just want a soft little fight. Graveyard fights change them a bit. Could be the data fights, team up, show us what the full power of the organization that Namora says they were all at full power fighting, and make the AI partners tougher to take more hits for them. Um, that's what I would love, including like the thousand, the I don't know if it was a thousand or more heartless nobody in the verse battle. I'm surprised no one has put all seven guardians. With, so with Donald and Goofy and Sora all working together fighting off that mass horde of enemies. I know 13th Vessel did one for the um, second part, second horde battle, but I would like to see that first one be done with everybody, including with your own and unique cutscenes and animations for them. If anyone can make team attacks, that'd be great. That'll be all for that. Now to go on to the next point. For number four, I would love to see new songs for Melody of Memories. Did you know that the Dearly Beloved version for Melody of Memories isn't even a song you can play through? I get why most songs wouldn't be there for mostly copyright or just they don't feel like bothering with it. But songs like A Fight to the Death and Any Dearly Beloved, not in Kingdom, not in Melody of Memories. Come on, that's not cool. I would love for them to modders to just take that and make some new ones. Make even some new boss battles. Make Marluxia a boss battle in Melody of Memories, please. It's so wrong that he got ditched like that. 
For number five, I want to talk about expanding Scala at Kylum in its whole section. I just want to, I, mostly this isn't anything big. I would like to see some people mess around with that section from Remind a bit more. Combine the whole thing into one big thing against Xehanort. Even make a whole Guardians party thing. Not all at once if you don't, have, if you don't want to. I would like to see a mod have, you know, the party be sectioned off or do some like little small its own scenario involving that and seeing the battles against the 13 replicas number six the aggressive i want the partner ais to be more aggressive they are pretty passive i would like the partner ais to get a bit more buffed in the mods and for some of them to get air combos i don't understand why Xion doesn't get an air combo when practically everyone else in this game does even if it's just a rehash of an animation sometimes. Like, she uh, should have an air combo, even if she has Holy or Event Horizon as a spell. It's just annoying. For number eight, I mean seven, uh, this is from a friend of, from my buddy who usually is on with me on these videos and games is the second voice he would like to fix the Kingdom Hearts 1 secret bosses I think he meant bosses in general but he would like to have someone edit those up a bit to be a bit more fair because those we all remember those those bosses can be kind of absurd but Sora is kind of strong too so it's it's a big weird thing for number eight this isn't really a want, more or less for a real want. I'm just tired of seeing everyone pick a character and then fight the data battles. I'd rather not see that all the time. That's all. Number nine. This kind of leans back into number three, but I would like to see Frozen live up to its potential, to its potential with people in the community. Frozen was such a good. I am. I'm not the huge biggest fan on new Disney's things or more recent Disney IPs, but I would like to see Frozen live up to its potential with Elsa being a proper battle or just a hindrance instead of Larxene being obviously shooting in for that, and also have Larxene be there to help with the fighting or ten. I would like, I had an idea, I would like the mod, the modders to change up data greeting and how those models can work. One thing I would really like to see from data greeting is just, you know, just more emotes, more poses, and whatnot, nor, more items. Terra's model is in there with its own set of things. I would like to see like animation loops for posing. Because I think a whole lot of cool things could happen if you had some animated looped, looped animations for data greeting. Also, for a side note, to go back to number two, I would like Terra to get his own little move set. Even if you have to copy paste Terra, Terra Nord, I would like for it to be changed up. Now to go into more of the crazy mods, I would like number eleven. I would like to see a change, Chain of Memories mod for all the games that is possible. Even just one more. That's not even Chain of Memories. It'd be fun to see and have that kind of card based system for even just a small part of any of the Kingdom Hearts games. I think it'd be a fun little experience and it would, it would just be a fun experience. For number 12. A dumb idea. I would love a Blaze Blue mod for this game, whether it just be one character or not. Just have fun and you know, just just bring in some other franchises and putting them in. Hey, let's make a Mario World and sort go through Mario games. All right, for number thirteen, I would love an RPG mode. It'd be a tedious, long mod to do. But I would love to see someone, even if it's just one level, even if it's just the graveyard battles or something, I would love to see an RPG mode, turn-based RPG mode 
for Kingdom Hearts, just for the fun of it. And last but not least, number 14, the greatest mod idea to ever exist. No one else has ever thought about this idea. Try not to spread it around. Goku mod. Well, that's all 14 of my choices for I would love to see in the modding future of Kingdom Hearts on the PC. Hope everyone enjoyed. Leave your own thoughts on what you would want down below if they have anything close to my choices or just some random things you would like. Hey, might want, hey, let's make the power proof fruit a recovery item and move on with the make sea salt ice cream a healing item, you know, in any game. Just have fun with it. And I hope Kino Hearts will reach some crazy new heights in its franchise thanks to the PC release and I'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye. Uh, uh, so, so leave me.